have taken, if you know the name, you have your hand and you tell us. Carter. Sir? Carter. Mr. Carter, no, hold this up. There are very many cutters here. What name do you give this? You have been using this one? Yes. What's the name of this? So now, if you want to call it donut cutter, then it's supposed to be used like this. You understand? Yeah. Meaning, after rolling the dough, you cut, then at the end, you make a hole in the donut. So it becomes what? Donut cutter. Donut cutter. Okay. So this one can come here. This one? Knives, okay? Yes. So different types of knives can be put here. You can see this big one here. I look for that knife and I don't see it. Chef's knife is this big one, okay? Yes. Then other small, small knife, there's also like, this is cutting knife. And then this knife is? Bread knife. Bread knife. Bread knife. Yeah. Okay, knife. Or maybe you have made your cake, then you trim the top parts. Then you turn the other side for icing. Okay? Yeah. You rest these edges to make it cut well. So this one in your kitchen, you have to keep it somewhere. So that whatever knife you want, maybe you are peeling fruits, you get the smallest, maybe fillet, fillet knife, there are very many types of knives. Okay? Yeah. This one? Bowl. Bowl. Mixing. Mixing? Bowl. Bowl. Please complete. This one part of the machine we're going to see there yeah. in the store. Let's keep it here. We have this plate here. What name can we give to this plate? This is a little bit deep, so you can call it deep plates. And then this one. So which name is here? What name do you give here? Lunch. White. White. So this is dinner plate. Can we say together? Dinner, dinner plates. plates. Dinner plates. Dinner? Dinner plates. For? Dinner. Serving? Huh? <laughs> For dinner. <laughs> when, when do you have dinner? What time? Eight. Six. At six. At six. Eight. Eight. Six. What, what time do you have? Nine. Six. Any time from six. Okay. Dinner dance. You go for dinner dance. You dance. You eat. Dance. Here. Four. Four. The. Plan. There are those ones that are bigger than this. This one can do a lot of things in the kitchen. Even can. You can use, you can pour here the oil which you have used yesterday, yeah. get some, to remove some, whatever, it can remain here. Okay? Yes. It doesn't burn, this is, there are some, there are two types, there's this one which is, can, can burn plastic, it's different from this. Okay? And this small one? Please talk. The first two ingredients, you can use this. Okay. When it becomes maybe heavy, then you turn to use another one. This is this one, the spa. Spa. Okay. Use this one. Oh, 
And then this one? This is a lado, okay? Yes. Serving lado. Can we say together? Serving lado. Serving lado. Serving lado. Soup lado. Soup lado. So what type of soup can you use this? Like tomato soup? Uh -huh. Type of soup? Carrot soup? Type of soup? Pumpkin soup? Chicken soup? Mushroom? There are very many types of soups. By now, I expect you to be making about 10. Good. This one? So this one, let it first be here. I'm going to talk about them, and then that one, after clearing this first. We have this glass. What name do you give here? Water glass. Water glass. Please let us put Don't rush to write what you don't know. Another glass is here. Wine glass. OK, we have different types of wine glass. We have. Short one. <laughs> the short one, which is ball like this, the then there are those ones with long, there are slim ones. We have the champagne glass, we have uh, red wine glass, red wine, white wine glass. This is red. The one you see is a little bit more. Red. Red, red wine glass. Okay. Red wine is red in color, white wine is white in color. Red wine is served when it is room temperature, whereas uh, white wine is served when it's chilled with the fridge. You got the meaning? Yeah. Then white wine we use for cooking white meats. Red wine we use for cooking red. Red? Yes. You better mark that. Here? Perforated spoon together? Perforated spoon. Perforated spoon. Perforated spoon. means when you or whatever, you can come and make. The work of these three are uh, almost, you see, one of them can strain. Have you seen them? Yes. They have arms, but they have different names. You see, this is? And then this one? And then this one here? So when do we use the colander? Maria, when do you use the colander? When do you use the colander? You see the problem in the English. <laughs> this one here. Who can use What's the main work of colander? Green is spaghetti. Another one. Washing rice. Rice, vegetables, maybe you will go in the vegetables and you don't want the water, but so you can pour here, the water goes down, the vegetables will remain in there, and then you turn back to the, to the saucepan. This is the deep, whatever I told you before, this is small, this is small, but it's a big one. Here, have you ever seen this one before? Yes. Four? No, it's it's Potato. You boil the potato when you want to you want to make mashed potatoes. You boil the potato. After boiling the potato, maybe there is no water now. Then you can do the cheese. You mash it up. Then after mashing, you can mash potatoes. You can learn different types of cooking potatoes. The name potato masher. <laughs> Here we have uh, then this one. This one is supposed to be having uh, two. This side which is rough, and then there's another side which is rough. This is meat tenderizer. Call it what? Meat tenderizer. Or you can call it beef hammer. You hammer. You cut your meat. Maybe you want 500 grams. If this is the meat, you put you weigh it. After weighing, you bring on the chopping board, and then you, you, you do like this. You spread it to be a little bit. If it is like that, you make it for a little bit, and then you season, and then you bring it. And then you there. After that, you open like this. You see inside, here you can get a maybe slight bread with some other. But depending on what sandwich you are making, you place here, and then you cover. After covering, you close. The moment you close, it will show the light here. This is red. Then 
After some time, it's ready. It doesn't take long. Very easy to use. Very easy to use. We call it what? And here? For? For blending juice, blending tomatoes, blending fruits, blending vegetables. Anything you want to do, you can come to that. And then uh, this is very complicated, but it's very simple to use. This is coffee making machine. It's called what? Coffee making machine. Coffee making machine. Coffee making machine. Or you can call it coffee maker. In the same form. So here, this is the glass. This is where, when they are filtering the coffee, over here. And then, you see the plate down here, it's very hot. The first thing you do, you plug it there on the electricity. And then you see, you put it from here on, and show you the light, right? Meaning it's ready to work. And then the clean one, you put here. You don't, you don't open, you leave it like that. <coughs> there is a hole on top here, whereby the copy will be. No, like you get your Irish potato, you peel nicely using this machine to save time. After peeling, good, then you place it here. Straight. Don't feel like this. You put it straight like this, and then you press this one. If you press it down, of course it will go, and then there are some edges here. It will cut. <coughs> down here, you put your water in the container so that the chips you have cut falls in water. Okay? If you leave it, even in my China. This one is there, and then we have also this one. This is measuring machine. Weighing scale. For mostly for ingredients. Okay? You have to weigh something you're going to put on fire. Maybe, like maybe you want to make steak. 500 grams of steak you cut and put there. This digital is what? Digital. When you press here, put the battery open and put the battery here. And then it will read from here. The grams will be read, read from here. Okay. Yes. Another knife is here. Yes, four. Icing. Nine. Icing. Nine. Can we say together? Icing knife. Icing knife. We use it for icing the cake. Okay. You put your icing sugar first, then you ice nicely. After that, you start I will do anything. Okay. It's a very simple machine you can use. So now, uh, these are the what you put to the yogurt for mixing. When you want to to fix this one, but before that, you can either use it with the power. You can handle it yourself. Or you can leave it to work alone. You understand? Yeah. Well, that, that, that whatever is far. So to remove, you press here behind. Here. And then this one comes out. So what will happen? You, you put this one here. Like this. Here. You can use one side or you can put two at the same time. Depending on what you're going to do. But this one cannot enter. Right? That's a different one. There's another one. So what will happen, uh, you put this, you plug it there, and then the new mixing bowl, you start to mix whatever you want. Maybe you have cake, you have your sugar and BB, then you can start to press here, then you rotate it. If you don't want to do that, then it means you have to put it and then to work along. Maybe you have other things you are going to do. Still, you put it there on the electricity. Press here like this and you open. After opening, then you put this here. You find it doesn't want to be it. There's another way. You can put it from here. Then you put it here. Listen. After that, you put your hand again here. 
we will go spark. This one is movable, we can remove this. This one is acting like this. Yeah? So this is a mixing boil for your hand, this is a mixing boil for the machine. Then we put it back here. After that, we press here and we close. You put on from there, you put on the ingredients here, and then you turn here. And you leave it there. You can continue doing any other thing. Okay? It will work for you. For you, you will come and see that, okay, it's now. I think the, the sugar and butter is okay now. I have to put what? What comes number three when you're making cake? Egg. Then you, you would have broken the eggs. With the whisk, you're talking about. Then you whisk the eggs and then now you pour the eggs very slowly. After that one is done, what comes after? Yeah. The flour. Bring the flour. Gradually, you put on, on the flour. It keeps on mixing for you until you find you get a good butter. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is. How do you, which name do we give now? Mixing machine. Hmm? Mixing machine. Oh, mixing machine. And then uh, we have this one here, which is very common everywhere. Price computing scale is called price computing scale because now you can calculate this one. The price there, so that if you have 100, you can sell up whatever for 100. You have 200, you can sell up for 200. Okay? Mm -hmm. This one you, you just compute yourself, and then it gives you what you want. Otherwise, you can even use it at like any other weighing scale. I think everybody knows how to do this. Maybe I want to use this one to hold something. Because maybe I don't like this one. I can put it here. Then I, I, I have a zero. I cancel to zero, then whatever you will give me here, zero, zero, zero point zero, zero, then what will happen? Whatever I want to weigh, I put here. Whatever I see here is the weight of what I put. Computing weight scale. All right. Whereas well, the small one is ingredients weighing scale. The small one. Anything else? All right, here, this pop screw, but this one, it has a name, waiter's, waiter's friend. It's called what? Waiter's, waiter's friend. It's a friend to all waiters. Meaning, whenever you, once you are put in uniform, there is somewhere you will put this. It must be in you, in the pockets. So we call it waiter's. Right. So how do you use this? You use it to open the wine. the wine. People know the wine we are talking about. It looks like this. The wine bottle also looks like this. And then everything is the same. But the brand will be different. So what will happen? You get the wine here. You remove. There is something always they put here. Which can be removed. You just do like this. And do from here. You see this one here. They are put. Move. All the all the wine they have this. They put this one to protect it from the, the flour. So I mean, after removing this one, you put it somewhere. And then on top of this wine, there is a cup. No cup. Yeah. It's here. Something like this is a cup. Then what you do? You do like this. You place this one here. The tip in the middle of the cup. And then you put your hand here. You see what I'm doing? You hold this one and you hold the top part of the wine, and then you turn. As you turn, as it's going down, you find it will be. Have you seen what it's doing? So when you stop there, it means it has gone deep in the cork. So I want to remove the cork. So what I will do? I turn like that, and then I hold like this, and I press down. The way I'm pressing down is pulling the cork up. If you hear something, it means you are ready to open. Then this one, you put on the side plates. You put it here on the side plates. Short time, then you get your wine and you hold it. All the wine bottle, it has something inside here. And you hold it like this. You cannot hold this one because it doesn't have the. If you have this one, there is something here, it goes inside of it. So you will hold it like that and then you pour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
You don't pour it to the brim, just somewhere here. Then that's all. When maybe they are like the like people who are sat here, you can ask, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, who would like to take to taste the wine? See, look at their face. They know me, me, me. Then you can choose. Then you pour something very little, and then you give that person to taste. So, how do you taste the wine? Not by. No. <laughs> <laughs> you pour something little here. Very true. And then somebody, if you are the one to taste the wine, you just put a piece. Okay. The, the, in the moment of doing like that, that are wrong. I'm letting you know this wine is the old one or the same. Let's spend our life. Let's go.